Welcome to Liverpool City Region Careers Hub Creating Careers. We're joined on today's webinar with Laura from Laura's Little Bakery and Harry from Sandfield Park School is going to be interviewing Laura for us today. Laura's going to talk us through her fantastic and really interesting career journey. We're looking forward to a, a great session and we've got some amazing questions set up for Laura today. There's been some pre-work set for this webinar and um, this session is split into two parts and there is a, a quiz after each part for you to watch. So the first question is please making you tell us who you are and what you do. So my name's Laura uh, and I own Laura's Little Bakery. Um, so basically, I just bake cakes 24 7. <laughs> That's my job. So, where did your incest start and your origin story? Um, so, to be honest, I, I didn't really start baking until my early 30s. Um, it was my daughter who asked if I'd bake some cupcakes for her birthday. And so we did, and she was 10 at the time, she's 20 this year. <laughs> so um, it was 10 years ago. And that kind of gave me a bit of a bacon bug really. Um, and then from there, uh, for about six months, I was just baking for, for friends and family. Um, and then just one of my good friends turned around and said, you really need to do this as a career. You're very good at it. Um, and you need to start making a bit of money from this instead of feeding us with cakes all the time. Um, so that's what I did. I took some samples out to um, various places, um, popular cafes and other bakeries, and they all come back and said that they wanted me to supply them. Um, and that's basically how it all started. Um, put a load of cakes in my boot, took them around Liverpool um, and said, do you fancy supplying these cakes and that was that that was uh, how I started so what are the challenges you have faced um there's been quite a few to be fair um you know I think it's very um it's a very demanding job um you know it's a very busy job so I've had to make quite a few sacrifices when it's come to spending time with family and um you know you put a lot of your own money into a job like this so you know financially it can be quite tough at times and has been quite tough um you know it's 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 a sacrifice of your time i would say more than anything when you run your own business um so that has been extremely cha cha um, challenging and then just dealing with various you know dealing with the public is is tough at times as well i think you've got to be very good at customer services when you deal with the public. And that has been a lesson to learn throughout <laughs> and still is. Um, that can be really, really challenging to be fair. Um, but you know, you've just got to, you live and you, you, you kind of learn as you go along type of thing. So um, I'd say they were my main challenges, yeah. And how has your job changed because of coronavirus? Um, to begin with, uh, we were mainly delivery only. So we never used to be delivery at all, but we figured that, you know, we'd have to start that because not a lot of people were wanting to leave the house. So we turned it into a delivery only service and it, it took off um, like just crazy. I never expected it to take off so well, but we were so, so, so busy. Um, the earlier months of lockdown and it's continued really to be fair it's been the busiest I've ever been which is amazing because I know a lot of other businesses that have not been able to work whatsoever but we have thankfully been able to carry on and provide a service um, all around Liverpool and actually even around the country because we've been able to post some stuff as well so it has really changed my business um, we, we don't do as many deliveries now. I mean, we delivered to you today. Uh, we managed to do that, but we don't do as many. But yeah, it's um, it's changed it for the better, to be fair. And I've wor I work with a lot of different people because of it. So for me, it's been a positive impact on my business, thankfully. What does a day in the life of you look like? 
chaos, <laughs> absolute chaos. Um, I've got children, so I, I mean, a lot of them are older now. A lot of them are, are grown up and they can kind of fend for themselves, so to speak. But I've also got a, a little one that's nearly two. So um, it'll wake, it'll begin with her waking us up, Blake. Um, and then I pretty much go straight to work. Um, I don't really tend to eat. <laughs> I'll go straight to work and get on with my, my orders for the day. Um, might be that it's a baking day, so we spend most of the day baking. Um, but it is absolutely full on. Um, we'll have little visits from Blake and my partner, Tom, throughout the day. <laughs> but um, it's just, uh, it's very, very busy. Um, you know, if it's baking or decorating cakes. I don't do any deliveries. My partner does that. Um, I don't do any emails anymore because I'm so busy. But um, the, the beginning part of the day will be baking and then the second half of the day will be decorating, which is my favourite part. Um, I absolutely love the decorating side of things. I think I could bake with my eyes closed now um, and asleep, but decorating I really love. So the second half of the day for me is very enjoyable. Um, and then I don't tend to stop working till about six o'clock and then I'll do my bath time routine with Blake and spend a little bit of time with her until she goes to sleep. And then I'm back down working again um, and I'll probably end my day about half nine and then I'll have something to eat <laughs> um, and then I'll jump onto emails after that um, maybe till about midnight so it's a very very full-on um, day most days to be honest I have Sunday off so um, I do take a day off but most days are very, pretty pretty full-on to be honest Do you find baking therapeutic? Um, I, well, just going back to the last question, I think it's probably more the decorating side of things, to be honest. Um, baking would be therapeutic, I think, if you only had a couple of cakes to do, but I have masses. So normally I'm, it's a bit of, um, you know, it's a bit full on and it's just kind of trying to get everything done. Whereas when I decorate, that's when I spend more time making sure that everything's you know spot on and perfect um so i do find the decorating aspect of things very therapeutic because it's when i can chill and just relax and do something that i really enjoy doing i love i do love baking but i i tend to bake the same cakes day in day out whereas decorating it's always a different decoration every cake is different you know decorations are different so I do find that the most therapeutic part of my job. Do you think baking and cooking teaches us independence and life skills? Oh, absolutely. Um, three of my eldest, so I've got four daughters, my three eldest daughters, all of them know how to bake, all of them know how to cook. And I think it's very important to pass those skills on to younger children because or to children because it's you know it's, it's part of living it is part of, of of living and um baking you know i think it's always good to know how to bake a good cake and and you know cookies and whatever but cooking in, in especially is a, a very very important skill for for people to learn you know to live a healthy life and and to just be independent um, you know, we all kind of eat things that are easy to to eat at times for, you know, just for convenience. But, you know, for example, we've got Global Scouse Day coming up this weekend, which is another one of my jobs. And I always think it's such a good thing for, for kids to be able to learn how to make Scouse. It's so easy. It's so nutritious. You know, it's cheap as well. It's a cheap dish to make. So I am I think it's very important for young people to, to learn how to bake and cook, for sure.